Misty Oreo here with another skills lesson for you for today. I love seeing all of your pictures of your work from yesterday. Keep it coming. It makes all of your teachers on the first grade team super proud of you. We're glad you're doing your work. We're glad you're continuing to learn, even though we can't be with you. Very, very proud of you. Keep it up. Today, we're going to start with some sight words. Um, a lot of you guys got these words sent home with you either a couple weeks ago or right before um, on Monday. Either way, very good practice. You can pause this video and rewind it as many times as you want to practice these words. We're going to start with 10 today. I'm going to hold the word up. If you know it, say it. If not, I'll tell you in a second. Okay, try and do them as fast as you can. Okay, first word. Years. See? Place. No. Work. Little. Only. Take. Sound. New. Over. Good. We'll do it one more time. Remember, sight word, you can't really sound out because a lot of times they don't follow the patterns that we've been learning in school, so you just got to know them as fast as you can. i do it one more time. Ready? Start with this one. Little. Only. Take. Sound. New. Over. Years. Place. No. Good job. All right, we'll do some more tomorrow. Today, I want to kind of wrap up our latest unit of skills and review some things. Today, I want to review those past, present, and future tense words we've been talking about. So I'm going to read a couple sentences. Remember, if something happens in the past, it's usually using the word yesterday and has that past tense marker, that ed at the end of the word. If I say a sentence that has a verb from the past, I want you to go like this and signal past, or you can say past out loud. If I say a sentence that's happening in the present, it's happening now, I want you to put your thumbs down and say present. If I say a sentence that's going to happen in the future, remember future, our keywords are tomorrow, next week, things like that, next year, my next birthday, those are all future. The other key word is will. You're going to throw your hands forward and say future. So we have past, present, future. So I'm going to give you a sentence. I want you to show me if it's happening in the past, present, or future. So first sentence. Today I will lift. Today I lift my arm. I'm sorry. Today I lift my arm. It's happening in the present. Tomorrow I will jump like a grass. Tomorrow, I will jump like a grasshopper. It's happening in the future because of the word tomorrow and the marker word will. You can jump like a grasshopper right now. Get some wrinkles out. Today, I drive a car. It's happening today. It's happening in the present. Juanita walked to the store. Juanita walked to the store. You hear that t at the end of walked? That's our past tense marker, ED. So that's happening in the past. I will drive to the airport tomorrow. I will drive to the airport tomorrow. It's going to happen in the future. You hear the word will and hear the word tomorrow. Will drive to the airport tomorrow. Yesterday, I started a new book. Yesterday, I started a new book. It's in the past. It has that past tense marker at the end of the verb started. End of the verb start. Turns it into started. Yesterday, I started a new book. Happened in the past. Lee ran fast in the race. It's a tricky one. That one's also happening in the past. We're going to learn about that soon. Those Some verbs... Don't follow our past tense marker rule, so you just kind of got to listen to them and learn them. But that one is happening in the 
past. Today, I munch on corn on the cob. That's happening in the present, it's happening today. Very good. So remember to send verbs into the past. You use that past tense marker ed. What's tricky about ed is that sometimes it sounds like t, sometimes it sounds like d, and sometimes it sounds like ed at the end of a word. We just have to read the words and figure out what sounds best. But it always looks like ed. It's never going to have a t or a d, a d or an at the end of the word. It's always going to be an ed written at the end of the word. So if you want to send a verb into the past, you're going to add ed for most words. Okay? All right, I love this video um, that sends a bunch of words into the past by adding ed. So I'm going to play that for you right now. To his friends, Ed, it's just a normal, sorry, everyday kind of letter. Hi there, Ed. Hello, my friend. Hi there, Ed. Hello, my friend. Hi there, Ed. Hello, my friend. But what they don't know is that Ed is a time traveler. All that Ed needs to travel into the past is a word. But not just any word. It has to be a word that does something. You see, only a word that does an action can be used by Ed to travel back in time. These words are called verbs. Here is a word that is a verb. Happen. I, I wonder, wonder what's, what's going, going to happen, happen now. now. Happen. It has happened. Ed jumped onto the end and the verb changed. The word has traveled into the past. Here are, Here are more, more words that are verbs. verbs. Ed, Ed will send, send them into, into the past. past. Look. Look. Looked. Looked. Play. Play. Played. Want. Want. Wanted. Wanted. Work. Work. Worked. Ed, Ed worked, worked hard, hard today. today. Or was it yesterday? If you need to send a verb into the past, remember to use ED. Add on the end of the word. I'm going to pause that. Hold on. Oh, I. So what I want to do now is practice with those past tense verbs and those words that end in ed because it's tricky to read them because they have different ending sounds. So what I did, if you're on Google Classroom, you can go into Google Classroom and you can pull up the page that looks kind of like this. It's called past tense marker sort. So if you can find that, let me make myself a little bit smaller. All right, if you can find that, you can pull it up with me. If not, you are welcome to just grab a piece of paper, any paper will do, and make kind of columns like we have here. We have ed, d, t, or you can make it kind of like my board. I'll give you a second to do that. Pause the video. Either take this, either find this document on Google Classroom or just grab a piece of paper, make a couple columns. If you're getting your own paper, don't worry about writing the words on the top. Just make these three little columns right here so we can sort them. All right. So what we're gonna go, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through each of these words. If you're on Google, if you're on Google Docs with me, if you're in Google Classroom with me, you can type right in these boxes. 
Otherwise, use your hand, practice your handwriting, write them in there. So we're going to go word by word. First one we have is started. This one gives it to you. See that sound box right there? It's telling you that it ends with the ed sound. Start ed. So we're going to put it in this column that has the ed sound at the end. Oops, sorry. Start it. And I can see it right up there, so I'm just going to copy it the way it is. The next word right here is grinned. 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 We hear the d sound at the end. Again, even though each of these words has ed, it ends in a different, it makes a different sound depending on the word. So grinned has the d sound. I'm going to write it in this column. All right, next one they did for you. Also, feel free to pause at any point. Take your time. Write it nice and neat. Type it in totally at your pace. Do whatever you need to do. Next one we're going to do is helped. You hear the t sound at the end, so I'm going to write it in helped. Helped still has the ed at the end. That's what makes it tricky, but it makes the t sound. And that's okay. Still going to be written as ed because it's a past tense verb. Okay, next one they didn't do for us, so I'm going to need your help. This word is marched. Sorry, marched. Marched. Where would that go? Mar marched. It has the t sound at the end, right? So I'm going to write it in the t column. Very good. Next, we're going to work on added. Ooh. Keep clicking on that. I'm sorry. Added. Added. Is it a id, d, or t sound? Added. Makes the ed sound. So we're going to do added in that column. All right. Next word is seemed. 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 Is it a ed, d, or t? Ed, d, or t. Sorry. Getting my words all mixed up. It's going to be a d sound. Seemed. All right. Next one is snorted. Snorted. Is it an id, t, d, or t sound? Snorted. And I have the id sound. Snorted. Good. Next word is wished. Wished. I hear the t sound at the end of wished. So we're going to put that in the t column. And then we have rubbed. Rubbed. It's only one spot left, but it does make the d sound, so we're going to put it in this column. Very good. If you did this with me, feel free to turn it in on Google Classroom. If you did it on your own paper, send your teacher a picture of it. Awesome job, guys. I'm also posting in Google Classroom a Google form. In that form, it's going to list a bunch of different words. Some of them are past tense verbs with the ED marker. Some of them are present tense verbs without the ED marker. Your job is to decide if they're past or present tense verbs. You're just going to choose past or present tense. So if you could do that for me too, if you have time today, that would be wonderful. Good work today, guys. I will see you tomorrow.